In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute backless top. To get started off, you're going to need a t-shirt that's a little bit too big for you. I slipped the cutting board in between the front and back of the t-shirt. This way I can mark the chalk better. You can mark a straight down, straight line down at the bottom of the shirt and then V it out. When you get to the neck, you're going to go ahead and cut out the front part of the neck as well. Now, do a roll hem and hem all of the raw edges. Next, put it on yourself or a mannequin or a friend, and you're going to twist one side so that it's fitted to the model. And it's got a little tail coming off of it. And you're going to pin the twist in place and grab the other side and do the same. Now you're going to bring the two sides together and pin one on the top of the other one. Let's your model around to the front and you're going to have to put a couple darts in the top so the shoulders won't fall down. Now you're going to hand stitch the bottom and the top. You can choose to leave the tail on or off. I decided to leave it on because I thought it was kind of cute. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. It was inspired by Cassie over at Fogilotti's because she has a new shirt in her store. And it's a backless t-shirt and I thought it was really cute. So I'll link where you can buy it down below. I also link her, link her channel because she does really awesome workout videos and healthy recipes so go check that out also I think this shirt could be paired very nicely with a uh, Street Life of Bioner's cage back bralette I have to say that slow and so go check that out I will link that below because it's really awesome um, if you like this video go ahead and give it a like because that would be great um, please subscribe to my channel if you feel so inclined that would be awesome. Um, if you have any requests, please comment below because I'd love to know what you guys would like to see next. And if you make anything of any of my videos, please share a picture on my Facebook page or post a picture on Instagram and tag it P-H-E-R-Y-L-O. And if you do, please comment below because I'm not always checking because I don't have so many subscribers that I think a lot of people would be doing that. 
So please tell me if you put a picture on Instagram, because I'd love to see it, because that'd be awesome. Anyway, so until next time.